guys guess what I have in my pocket that's right I have a pocket pistol look at this little beauty huh this is a Beretta model 21 a chambered in 22 long rifle man I just just an awesome little pistol absolutely love this one so you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go back into my shop and take a close look at it and then we're gonna come back out here and put some rounds through it but I've had this for about four months I've shot it a lot and just an amazing little pistol so um, we'll take a look at it and then come back and shoot it the Beretta model 21a look at this little beauty huh now this is also called the Bobcat and this little pistol has been around since 1984 and they are made in the USA and you can also get these chambered in 25 automatic I did cover up part of the uh, serial number and of course you can tell this one is stainless and you can also get these in blue now on this here uh, the barrel and the slide are stainless the frame is aluminum comes with one seven round magazine but uh, let me show you something that's really cool about this pistol you know the slide on this is pretty hard to pull back but you can load this without even pulling the slide back see this lever right here bam look at that the barrel pops up and we'll talk about that a little more later but makes it very easy to load this up you know once you have a full magazine in here put around in there and you are ready to go it's got a very nice uh, safety on it that safety is actually even though it's quite small man I can hit that really easy with my thumb now this is a single action double action pistol and let me show you that here um, Beretta does say do not dry fire this because you can break the firing pin on it so I'm gonna put this empty back in and you can cock the hammer and shoot it or you can just pull the uh, trigger back and it will fire pretty cool huh and you can carry this with the hammer down and the safety on which is how I carry it or you can actually have it cocked and locked retail price in 2022 is $400 49 dollars so you know it is not a cheap pistol but very well made very reliable um, weight is just under 12 ounces barrel length 2.4 inches and the width on this is just slightly over one inch and you can see it pretty much fits in the palm of my hand this really an excellent little pistol I picked this one up used and uh, got a pretty good deal on it and um, I'll tell you what I'm certainly glad I picked it up take a look at the sights on this little guy I mean they are extremely tiny yeah there's there's not much to look at there definitely a very close encounter pistol comes with one magazine unfortunately I don't know why they don't supply two but made in Italy a very well made magazine this one holds seven rounds you can put eight rounds in this magazine but the owner's manual says do not put more than seven rounds in the magazine disassembly very easy to take this little guy apart what you want to do of course uh, make sure it's unloaded pop open the barrel pull back the hammer put the safety on take that barrel swing it all the way forward now I'm going to pull the slide back just slightly and I'm going to push up on the front of the slide and she comes right off look at that You'll notice a couple things though there's no recoil spring that's kind of weird huh 
and this also has no extractor on it and we'll talk about that here in a minute but the uh, barrel on this when you lock it up that is extremely tight absolutely no movement in that barrel whatsoever okay so the bobcat is basically just a little blowback 22 pistol and it does not have an extractor so when you fire this when that case blows back it of course blows back to slide and then that case will hit the ejector here and pop out so again no extractor on this which now the reason it does not have an extractor on it and this is very easy to put back together by the way just like that if it had an extractor you couldn't pop up the barrel because it would the barrel would hit the extractor so that's why it does not have one but I'll tell you what extremely reliable little pistol there is one problem without having an extractor and I will cover that when we're out in the field shooting this this slide does not lock back by the way there's no way to, to lock it back even with an empty magazine in it the slide on this is actually very hard to pull back which is one good advantage to the uh, tip up barrel like this but if I take this uh, slide off you know something has to there has to be a mainspring in here somewhere or a recoil spring so let's take a look at that see these little cutouts right here in the slide they match up with uh, these black little tabs right here got one on each side and those are actually uh, mainspring levers and I will take off a grip and show you how that works all right so you have this lever here and it's actually spring powered as you can see here and again there's a uh, one of these on both sides of the pistol let me put this slide back on show you how that works again it matches up with the notch in the uh, slide but look at that and again you have springs right in here so that's what that's what powers the slide when it goes forward pretty ingenious huh now if you buy one of these and you take the grips off just be aware you see this round portion right here it's it's beveled right down in here and it's going to match up with this bevel right here in the frame so don't just put these on like this flat because it's not going to it's not going to line up correctly make sure you uh put that plastic piece right into the bevel at at a slight angle make sure it's flush and then you can put your screws back in magazine release right here and no you cannot switch it around ammunition you know when you have a small pistol like this especially a 22 caliber without an extractor on it it's very important to find ammo that is going to be extremely reliable and I can tell you my pistol does like Remington Golden Bullet also likes Winchester Super X and CCI ammo and we'll shoot most of this today I will tell you what it does not like which kind of surprised me but uh, it does not like this Aguila I shoot a lot of this and it shoots great in all of my 22 rimfire uh, firearms except this one here so we'll shoot some of this today but uh, you know what right now I think it is time to shut up and shoot So, pretty neat little pistol, huh? Let's fire eight rounds of Remington Golden Saber. Yes, I would not want to be in front of this little guy. Heck, let's do that again. Why not? Yeah. 
All right, Winchester Super X hollow point ammo. Eight rounds of Aguila. Yeah, I don't know why, it just does not like this ammo. Let me clear this. So far I've tried I don't know four or five six different brands and this is the only one that uh, it won't work with try that one more time here put the safety on <laughs> it figures but she is empty You know, I don't normally carry a 22 pistol for self-defense. If I'm carrying, it's either going to be a, a SIG or a Glock 9mm. But I actually do carry this little Beretta sometimes, and I carry it in my pocket without a holster. I know some of you guys don't like that, but, you know, it is a very safe pistol. I have the hammer down. I have the safety engaged. If I'm sitting there pumping gas, something goes down. I can immediately draw my pistol, click off the safety, and take care of business. Yeah, don't want to be in front of this little guy. A few weeks ago, I had my son and his wife out here, and they, they put a few rounds through this. So let's, uh, let's watch some of that video. All right. Let's give this cute little thing a try. See if I can hit the target. All right. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> nice. Yeah. missed on purpose believe it or not I'll tell you what that hammer bite look at that I am getting some serious hammer bite from this little pistol I got beefy hands and that hammer just comes back and pinches me right there if uh, if I didn't have hammer bite I'd be hitting that every single time right son uh, maybe you know what let me try one more I really do like shooting this Yeah, look at that. Really like this little pistol. Don't like the hammer bite, but I like the pistol. Hey, something I want to cover real quick. I've received a lot of law enforcement training, and I've been trained that if I'm shooting my pistol and it goes click, 
especially in a self-defense situation, I've been trained to tap, rack, and bang. Well, you can't do that with this because remember, there's no extractor on it. If I get a click and there's a round in the, in the chamber and I work that slide, I'm going to get a double feed. Again, that, that live round is not coming out by pulling back the slide. So what you want to do is practice um, a failure drill with this. And let me show you what that would involve. I'm going to stick a live round in here. I do have the safety on. But if this goes click, just pop the barrel open and that live round should pop out. Okay, Very important to keep the chamber clean. Let's see if that's going to pop out. Just like that, close the barrel work that slide and continue to fire. So make sure you practice that if you're going to carry one of these little uh, Beretta pistols. Well there you go guys. Really like this pistol. I highly recommend it if you're looking for something like this. I can tell you these small silver sights on this. Very hard to see in this bright sun but uh, I think I did okay. Um, accuracy with this little pistol is good to about 10 yards or so, but that's to be expected from a, a short barrel like this. Anyways, if you like my video, hit that like button, and uh, we'll see you next time.